Welcome to the next leg of the FEI World Cup driving. It takes us to Geneva. This is one of the great shows, the 59th edition of the Geneva Horse Show. And there's confirmation of the scores from round one. It's going to be a fiercely fought drive off. Glenn Geertz, Boyd Excel, and Bram Chardon. And we're off to the races. Here we go, Glenn Geertz, the first of the final three. Now to the water, through it. Comes out, there is a nine is straight after that, so you can't be totally out of control coming out through the water. Now into the speed box, oh dear. There is one down, you can see the cone landing rather forlornly on its side, so that'll be disappointing. A little too sharp there. And that is a really good effort. Oh, he'll be disappointed to have that one down, but he's happy enough nonetheless, because that is still a very good time that's going to give Graham Chardon and Boyd XL food for thought. So here we go. Boyd under pressure. Will he be able to find something special to maintain his dominance here in the Swiss city? No problems coming into 11. Keeping it going. Sliding round now, coming out. 125 is the mark coming out of the final obstacle. Got to stay clear now. This looks sharp. This looks very good. Now to 14, takes a tight line into that. My goodness me, how tight was he? How controlled was he into that? Oh, that is quite sensational. 146.1. Well, nine, but again, looks as if he's had one down. Not quite sure where he had that ball down, but he has. It is 150.19 with those four to add. Well, Bram Chardon. Here he goes. We're off and running. 150.19, the target to beat, set by Boyd XL. So tight and so quick round in through the C part, but he's had a, a ball down. He's got to just be quick and accurate. Now to the speed box. Oh, but he's had another one down. Oh dear. He's under pressure now. Just maybe looking for a little too much speed. Another one down, it's unraveling. This has not quite gone as well as he would like. To the final part, he's clear through 14, but with plenty to add, it means that he will finish in third. It's another victory. He's unbeaten this year on the World Cup circuit. It's a fifth victory for Boyd XL. He finishes on 150.19. It's been all about Boyd XL. And the Australians' dominance of the indoor season continues. Next stop, it'll be Olympia for the next leg.